have our model workspace set up, we'll create the model geometry. And the model geometry is very simple. It consists of two circles. So we'll go to the geometry creation menu and go geometry, circle, circle, center radius. Now, as soon as I activate that command, you'll notice that down in the command line, it says locate or enter the center of the circle. The center of our first circle will be at an x-coordinate of 8 inches and a y-coordinate of 4. So we can enter that in a number of ways. We can enter 8 and comma 4. Now it says enter the radius. The radius of our circle is 1 inches. Now hit the enter key. Now you notice in the workspace a circle has been drawn and down in the command line again it says locate or enter the center of the circle. So the command is still active so you can keep on creating circles. The next circle I'll create will be at the same x coordinate, center of 8, but it'll be at a y coordinate of minus 4. And I'll show you another way of entering the numbers. We enter 8, but instead of entering a comma this time, I'll just use the space bar to create a space. And then I'll enter minus 4. So now it says enter the radius again and it'll be the same radius, we'll enter 1. And I hit the enter key. And now we have the second circle created. So it says locate or enter the center of the circle. We could keep on creating circles, but we're done. So I'll end the command by hitting the enter key a second time. And you notice the message area gives you a summary of the geometry that's been created. It says there are four points, two segments, and two regions. So uh, each circle is defined by two points. Uh, each circle is only one segment. It's a segment which is, has the same start and end point. And because it closes in on itself, it creates two closed regions. Now that we've completed the geometry for the model, in order to turn it into a CAE, Computer Aided Engineering Model, we have to assign physical properties. Now, there are only two physical properties we need to be concerned with. First is the type of physical model we're trying to represent. We'll open the Physics Global Setup dialog box, and you'll notice that right at the top we have the geometry model type. And when you first open the program, the default is for a two-dimensional model, which has a, a length of one meter in the third dimension. Now, we are creating a rotationally symmetric model, and it's rotationally symmetric about the y-axis. And so I've changed it now. It's a y-rotationally symmetric model at x equals zero. Uh, the solver type, we're going to do a field solution, and the operation mode is a static one. We're not going to have an AC current. We'll have a DC Helmholtz coil system. Now, the only other physical property that we need to assign are volume currents. We'll assume that our, our coil is made up of a number of turns of fine wire, and the round circles represent the outline of that. Or it could be the, the circles represent a single coil, but usually you'd have a number of turns of small of, of fine wire. The total number of ampere turns in our coil will be 2,270. So I selected physics, then volume current, assign total. Now the command line again prompts you with the information it needs. It says assign volume currents, select the regions. I'll move my mouse pointer into the first circle and you notice that the circle turns orange and in the lower right hand corner there's a little stretched rectangle there that indicates that your mouse pointer is over a closed region. So I'll click once and I'll move my mouse pointer. You notice that the circle remains green to show that it's been selected and the selection process is still active so I can keep on selecting more regions. And I'll move my mouse pointer again into the lower region and I'll click the left mouse button once and once again I, I move my mouse pointer to a blank area of the screen. Both circles are filled solid green which means that they're selected. So now I can end the selection process by clicking with the right mouse button. Okay, so now the prompt in the command line has changed. It says enter the total current. So I'll enter 2270. So the total current is 2270. I'll hit the enter key. I notice that both of the coil regions have turned sort of a magenta color. That indicates they've been assigned volume currents. The volume current command is still active. If we had other regions that needed different currents, we can select them now. We don't know, so I'll hit the enter key a second time, and that completes assigning the volume currents, and that also completes assigning the physical properties. Now you notice we didn't put any materials into the coils. That's because we're assuming the coils are made of a non-magnetic material like copper or aluminum. 
So there's no need to define any materials in those regions. Thank you.